Microsoft has recently released the Windows 10 update KB5058379, which brings the latest round of security patches and several important bug fixes aimed at improving system stability and protecting users from newly discovered threats. This update is part of the monthly Patch Tuesday rollout and is considered essential for all users still running Windows 10. Microsoft strongly recommends installing the update as soon as possible to ensure that your device remains secure and continues to operate smoothly with the latest protections against vulnerabilities. However, despite its importance, sometimes you may notice Windows update downloads getting stuck at a certain percentage for hours or it fails to install with different errors. There are several reasons why Windows update might fail during the installation process. Slow internet connection, corrupted Windows update components, interference from third-party antivirus, or insufficient disk space are common. Whatever the reason, this video explores some of best working solutions to fix Windows 10 update problems. Let's start with the easiest and most automated solution, running the Windows update troubleshooter. This is a built-in diagnostic tool provided by Microsoft, specifically designed to detect and fix common update-related problems. It checks for issues such as missing or corrupted update files, broken services, and incorrect update settings. Running this tool should always be your first step, as it can resolve many problems without requiring any manual intervention. Click on the Start menu and select the Settings gear icon. In the Settings window, go to Update and Security. From the left-hand menu, choose Troubleshoot. Click on Additional Troubleshooters. Under Get Up and Running, select Windows Update, then click on Run the Troubleshooter. Once the tool starts, it will automatically scan your system for problems related to the update process. It may check for things like stuck update queues, missing registry keys, or disabled update services. If it finds any issues, it will attempt to fix them or guide you through the necessary steps. After the troubleshooter finishes, restart your PC and try installing the update again. A surprisingly common reason why Windows updates fail is due to insufficient disk space. Updates like this one need adequate storage to download files, unpack them, and install changes to system components. If your C drive is running low on space, the update may stall or fail entirely. Open the Start menu and type Disk Cleanup then select it from the results. In the Disk Cleanup window, choose the C, Drive and click OK. Wait while Windows calculates how much space you can free up. In the list of files to delete, check options like Temporary Files, Recycle Bin, Delivery Optimization Files and Windows Update Cleanup. Click OK and confirm with Delete Files. Additionally, consider uninstalling unused applications or transferring large files like videos, photos, or installers to an external drive or cloud storage. After freeing up at least 10 to 15 GB of space, attempt the update again. Sometimes, third-party applications, particularly antivirus software, system cleaners, or firewall programs can interfere with Windows updates. A clean boot starts Windows with only the essential Microsoft services running, eliminating conflicts caused by background applications. Press Windows Plus R2 Open the Run dialog, type MSC Onfig, and press Enter. In the System Configuration window, go to the Services tab. Check Hide All Microsoft Services, then click Disable All. Now go to the Startup tab and click Open Task Manager. In Task Manager, disable all enabled startup items one by one. Close Task Manager and return to the System Configuration window, then click OK. Restart your computer. Once your PC restarts in a clean boot state, try installing the Windows Update again. If it succeeds, it's likely that a background service was interfering. After updating, 
you can re-enable your startup programs by reversing the above steps. If the above steps don't help, it's time to manually reset the Windows Update components. Over time, the folders that store update files like software distribution and catroot 2 can become corrupted or bloated with outdated data. Resetting them essentially gives Windows Update a clean slate. Press Windows Plus or on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Type services.msc and press Enter. This will open the Services window. In the list, scroll down and locate Windows Update, right-click on it and select Stop. Also locate and stop the Background Intelligent Transfer Service, Bits and Cryptographic Services. Now open File Explorer and navigate to C Drive then open Windows folder then Software Distribution folder followed by Download folder. Inside the Download folder, press Ctrl plus A to select all files. Press Shift plus Delete on your keyboard to permanently remove them. If prompted for administrator permission, click Yes. This folder contains cached update data that Windows uses during the installation process. Deleting these files will force Windows to download fresh copies. Once you've cleared the update cache, go back to the services window and restart the services you stopped earlier. Now that the components have been reset, go back and try checking for updates again. If automatic updates continue to fail, you can bypass the process entirely by manually downloading the latest Windows update from the official Microsoft Update Catalog. This method allows you to install the update directly as a standalone package. Visit the Microsoft Update Catalog. In the search box, Type the update KB number and press enter or click on search. Browse the list to find the version that matches your system architecture. For most users, this will be Windows 10 64-bit. Click download next to the appropriate version. A new window will open. Click the link to download the .msu file. Once downloaded, double-click the file to run the standalone installer. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the update. This method bypasses the Windows Update mechanism entirely, making it especially useful when the regular update tool is failing due to service-related issues. Sometimes, Windows Update failures like this can be caused due to corrupt or missing system files. These are core components of Windows that the update process relies on to apply patches and changes. If essential files are damaged or improperly configured, the update may not install successfully or it might trigger error codes during the process. In such situations, running built in SFC and DISM Restore Health command scan and repair these issues. Open command prompt as administrator and run command. DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. DISM will connect to Windows update servers and attempt to restore the health of your Windows image by replacing any corrupted files it finds. This operation might take 10 to 30 minutes depending on your internet speed and system performance. Once the DISM scanning completes, run command SFC slash scanner. The tool will begin scanning your entire system for corrupted files. This process may take several minutes, so be patient and do not interrupt it. Once the scan is complete, it will either confirm that no integrity violations were found or indicate that some files were fixed. You'll see a summary of the results when it finishes. Once the scanning complete, reboot your PC and check for updates again. In addition, sometimes antivirus can block update files, causing failures. 
disable third party antivirus temporarily and try install the updates. I hope this help fix Windows 10 update problems on your PC. Feel free to share your feedback on comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.